Let's try this one more time. It's just an amateur uh, video on the Viair onboard air system that I put in my 2017 Ram Power Wagon. Uh, it is a 485C Gen 2 onboard air system with a two and a half gallon tank from Viair. Um, I looked at a lot of options on how I wanted to mount that system. I looked at mounting it in the engine, which is pretty much impossible with the, the Hemi setup. Uh, there just isn't a lot of room in there. Uh, I looked underneath at you know spare tire location, um, skid plate locations. Uh, the problem with those is it's hard to access if you do need to do some kind of service. And uh, I do go through standing water and even though they're rated IP65, uh, you know, rather not submerse them in water if I can help it. So I decided to buy a truck box specifically for the system and incorporate the system into that. So I'll turn the camera around, we'll take a look at that. All right, so we got uh, dual compressor, one on the left, one over here on the right. Those are fed by uh, fresh air when they are on and when they are filling the tank in the middle here. Uh, so I ran that fresh air intake out here and it's up under the bed rail, under the truck box, got the little Viair cap on it. So there's one on each side that pulls air in for the compressor when it's powering up and uh, filling the tanks. So those are a 200 uh, PSI constant duty. Uh, Gen 2 so they will run pretty much as long as you want them to run at 200. I've not found a need to do that um, They seem to work pretty good. They fill the tank fast and they don't really get stressed. So that's good so <clears throat> You got your lines coming in from your compressors to your tank one on each side That's this big line with the braided hose and then you got this feed line right here coming out of the tank that feeds into this port. And this port has three lines on it out of the face. One of these lines goes to a quick connect on the passenger side. One goes to a quick connect on the driver's side. And one goes to the pressure gauge in the cab. And so if you look on the sides of the truck box, I drilled those out and put the quick connects coming right out of the truck box. Silver one on each side is uh, for airing up tires. And then the brass one you see there is actually for power tools. So if I come back over to the port here, coming out of the other end of the port, I got a regulator. That regulator is to this line only. So it only regulates this line. And then I can set this regulator to whatever PSI the power tool that I'm using requires, whether that be a grinder or uh, a pneumatic uh, wrench to take off lug nuts or whatever it might be. So the Viair system comes with uh, a really nice hose. Uh, I think it's 20 feet if I remember right. Uh, super nice, super high quality. Comes in a case. Also comes with this digital uh, pressure tool. So turn it on here. Reads out the PSI if I had it hooked up of the tire. When you're holding down the trigger uh, while you're filling up, it tells you the PSI that's being applied to the tire. And as soon as you let go, it gives you the most current reading of pressure on the tire. So it's a pretty good system there. And let me see if I can turn that off. Maybe hold it down. And then this guy here, which is part of that as well, has this little clip on the end, little thumb toggle and if you're on the nipple of the tire here and you engage this it actually locks onto the tire so you don't have to do the old school you know push it hold it let go check it um, all that kind of stuff and then I just threw some off-road um, stuff in here that I use I've got about four different uh, tree saver extension straps I've got chainsaw uh, d-rings um, wiring here in case I need some out on the road, uh, air hose to blow stuff off, electrical tape, fittings, um, you know, extra nozzles, uh, electrical fittings, a little bit of everything just in case I need an emergency repair, a couple pairs of gloves, um, 
And I think about uh, three or four snatch blocks that are in there. So if I hop down quick, uh, show you the cab. I'll break my neck here. There we go. So if I come over here in the cab, so there's the uh, gauge in the cab. It tells you the pressure. Sitting at about 170 right now, 165, something like that. Um, so it'll lose about maybe, I don't know, five pounds over the course of a week. But that's about it. It holds really, really well. Um, got the on-off here. I don't know if you heard that come on, but when I turned it on there, kind of hear it running back there. So that's just the uh, on off. And then uh, down here, if you come look, I just ran all the wires uh, right there through the firewall. There's a little neoprene grommet there. And I just drilled one hole for each wire that I ran through there. So I've got uh, the wires for the gauge, um, separately the wires for my CB. And then the uh, wires for the light that's on the gauge are all in there. And then the only other thing I did was I added a couple of these uh, extra clasps, one on each side, to lock everything down with, with uh, a couple of big beefy master locks. And, uh, oh, there's one there. focus on that but uh so two master locks there as well i figure worst case scenario keeps an honest guy out someone sees someone breaking uh clasps and locks on someone's truck box maybe they'll stop and ask them what the hell they're doing so anyway that's the uh Vire onboard air system i put on um you see the thing that looks like a temporary tag there that's because i ordered custom plates and uh, I have to have that until the custom plates come in to replace my old um, standard plates. So that's why it looks like I just bought the truck, even though that's not the case. <laughs>